Hi, my name's Kate Garrard. I'm a teacher in Melbourne, Victoria. My name's Matt Gallen. I'm from Christmas Island District High School. I'm really excited about the week ahead and Matt and I will be checking in with you to share our STEMX journey. We're just about to start our day of activities. Pretty excited. I kind of couldn't fall asleep last night because I was already thinking about what I could be doing and planning and things like that. I see this as a great opportunity for me to improve what I'm doing in my classroom with the obvious spin-off that students will enjoy what they're doing more and get more out of what they're doing in the classroom. It's lunchtime on day one. We've just finished making Rube Goldberg machines and I'm really keen to take it back and include it in different ways in what we do at school. For me right now the, the key takeaway that I'm getting from this is the importance of of getting hands-on again and giving kids more opportunities to devise their own solutions to complex problems. For the rest of today we're starting to devise a problem-based learning activity uh, that will work at our own schools. The last session we looked at what inquiry learning is and we started by formulating our own questions so we were given a bit of a stimulus and we had to just write questions non-stop and then kind of prioritise it as a group and which ones we really like and then we got the chance to actually talk to the experts about their work and kind of have some of those questions answered. So for me, the biggest benefit from being here is getting access to so many other brains that have done things like this and have got different ways of doing things. I think STEM will be the core of teaching and learning as we go forward. It's not just the content, it's about those thinking skills that students and young people are gonna need for their jobs in the future. It's been a really busy week so far, but I still feel like I'm enjoying a lot and learning a lot, taking a lot of information in. The opportunity to see such world-class research and world-class equipment has really inspired me again. One of the highlights, I think, was walking around with our scientists. We got to go into the lab and see what they really do. They were looking into um, early detection of lung cancer through breath samples. So we got to try on the mask and, and test our own breath and see how that worked in the machine. This week I've discovered things that I had no idea about. I think the biggest learning I've had so far is that STEM is about your mindset rather than being about content of science and maths and all that stuff. It's, it's more about that design thinking and that's something I'm going to bring into my curriculum and that's something I'm really going to take with me. This has blown my mind. It's truly immersive and working with industry, working with researchers, it changes how you think about science. I'll honestly say I am exhausted mentally and physically, but really, really keen to get back to school and start making some changes to what I've done in the past and to share with my students some of what I've learned. It's really a bit sad to say goodbye to all the wonderful STEM Xs because it's so inspiring to work with like-minded people and I know that those people that I've met through this experience I'm going to keep in touch with and it's a beautiful community that's formed through STEMX.